Okay, well, first of all, I want to say that since I wasn't asked, I want to voice my opinion on the fact that they shouldn't be combined and that I don't feel that this is due process. I've had this conversation with you guys many times. The uh, prior speaker who got up about precedent and said, you know, serial filers like me, obviously he forgot the other end, serial offenders, who, you know, I'm constantly bringing back up here and reinventing the wheel because you guys have no precedent. No precedent whatsoever when it comes to listening to any cases, you know, any stuff that's decided before, the person has to come back multiple times. I, for example, with the Department of Public Health, you know. Anyway, moving on, since apparently my objections aren't going to be heard and my due process is going to be waylaid, considering there's only eight members that are supposed to be sat, only six here, but apparently the majority of eight is going to be six votes required to pass anything. Once again, no due process, which is what I've said all along, but at least I will continue to tell the truth to the Ministry of Sunshine. All right, first of all, uh, when I originally sent my IDR to uh, the police department, it was in regard to what I've been in front of the Ministry of Sunshine many, many times about, which is denial of health care and telling you people that, you know, there is no enforcement, there is no anything, so I have to continually come back here to try to get my health care. What had happened was that um, I was following up at Northern Station in regard to uh, my health care and a particular complaint that I wanted to file for assault for being denied health care by one of the sheriff's deputies on 9-18-2013. Uh, at that point, I went ahead and I believe it was on the 21st, sunshine the police department for those videos, you know, and all the paperwork for that illegal 5150. Uh, at that point, uh, a few days later, I received something telling me uh, from uh, Miss McCon Marine Conifree, I guess it was the correct person, telling me that uh, after a time, her timely response and a thorough and diligent search, that uh, the officer who detained me on September 19th was Mr. Falano Star number 1890 and had no other documents responsive to this. Curiously enough, the IDR mentioned the fact that uh, the false and illegal arrest was on 918. Apparently, the very competent people at the legal department or whoever is in charge of public records, after a thorough and detailed investigation in which, of course, they never contacted me, never spoke to me, gave me the wrong information. When I wrote back and said, well, you know, I certainly would like for this to, you know, for you to admit that you've sent me the wrong information, well, that, that just went sailing by too. You know, the principle of good faith, clean hands, hmm, it's an awfully interesting thing. Um, all right, I was also told that the videos did not exist. Uh, so, you know, part of this was like, well, if the videos don't exist, is there any policy that the police department has in regard to the retention of its videos at the police stations? You know, after 9-11, Homeland Security, I'm pretty sure that the federal government required all police stations and all agencies you know, to try to deal with anti-terrorist things and to come up with solutions. And I would, I would imagine that having video cameras that record would be part of this. But I was informed that the video cameras do not record, that they're simply there for viewing in real time as people walk in. Uh, when I asked for the policies, I was sent to the incorrect place, DTIS, which of course doesn't facilitate the policies. Oh, the, the, the plot thickens. Okay, at that point, you know, I said, well, um, unfortunately, when I walked in, I walked in with my video camera, and the incident can be seen on YouTube as to what happened that day and how I was falsely 5150. The incident also shows with my video camera the fact that, as I said, they've claimed that those cameras weren't recording, but yet somebody behind the window in, in their job duties, being behind in the confidential area, recorded me on, I guess, maybe their personal camera. That's on the video. I also requested that video. 
I was denied that video in addition. You know, for them to falsely 5150 me and, and say that I'm acting a certain way and then I can't get the videos. Oh, and by the way, there's no policies for the videos. Just stinks to high hell in 2014 in this society. All right, so at that point, when I wrote Ms. Connerfree back and said, well, excuse me, but you're incorrect, you know, I need for you to go ahead and send me the policies and everything, that never happened. Um, when I went in to, to follow up to the police station, you know, because the respondent is supposed to be as helpful as they possibly can be, that never happened. I was told I was not going to be able to see that person and that I would not be able to follow up to the incorrect advice that I was given, to the fact that there was no policies, to question anything. Uh, are we living in Russia? I'm confused. You know, I, I really don't understand this. So at, at that point, you know, I just continued. And uh, then I sunshined them again a month later because I, I, I had asked for the policy civilly without sunshine. And of course, I'd been sent the wrong information. And when I wrote her back and said, well, you know, can you please treat me like a human being, you know, and have some professionalism here. And, you know, I'm sure that you as the legal person understands what the word policy means. Why the misdirect? Nothing came of that either. Now, the problem that I'm having uh, is that in addition, you, if you go to YouTube and look at the other videos, I went to other police stations to ask them if their cameras recorded. Would you all get, guess to venture what the answer was? Yes, they do record, which of course makes logical, total sense in this post 9 11 terroristic world. All right. Uh, uh, the San Francisco, I asked, I asked them, sending a copy of the policies used by the San Francisco Police Department for their video cameras, retention, recorded data, whatever you know, to ensure the reliability and correct performance of said cameras and security measures in and around the police stations. Their response was that they had no responsive documents to this request. So we live in San Francisco, the 14th largest city in this country. This is 2014. And there, there's no cameras working at the police station so that they can falsely 5150 you and, and claim that there's something going on with you. And then, and then when you ask for the stuff that they're supposed to provide, for example, the policies that would negate this, you can't even get that. Um, unfortunately, I have been in front of the Ministry of Sunshine many times. Mr. Nee can tell you for 10 years now trying to get my health care. This is all about my health care. This was about me going in and following up on the denial of my health care and trying to file uh, an assault charge against the San Francisco Sheriff's deputy for, you know, an incident and being played at the police station and being falsely 5150 there because, you know, they just can't handle the truth apparently. Well, unfortunately, I guess I'll tell you like I told you last time I was here trying to follow up on my medical care. I truly believe that when I leave, I still won't get any medical care, and I still won't get any help in the police department. And this, and this Ministry of Sunshine will, of course, fail again, because if they send them to ethics or anything else, well, Mr. Nee can quite clearly tell you what happens when stuff gets sent up to ethics. That's why I'm here reinventing the wheel each and every time, because there is no precedent. Contrary to what you were told by the public about me being a serial complainer, well, apparently, there are serial offenders there's no precedent, and their wheels got to get reinvented. I've been doing it for 10 years over the Department of Public Health, and you know the fact that my own medical records are public records and they keep denying. So this is pretty similar. This is the same thing that's going on with the police department. I've asked for what's legally required. You know, uh, when I've tried to follow up on their incorrect information, I was totally waylaid. When I asked for some professionalism to at least admit that they'd sent me the wrong information, never got that. When I went in to follow up and say, hey, this is wrong, well, you're never going to see that person. Well, under sunshine, I'm supposed to be helped here. Very queer. Thank you.
Thank you. Okay, so do I have any members of the public who would like to introduce facts and evidence? 